We're following breaking news right now. A major decision tonight on how high school sports will play out this fall. Channel 3 Sports Director Joe Zone is live in Cromwell with the very latest. Hi, Joe. A lot of people waiting to hear. Yeah, Kara, everybody waiting for this big decision. I'm right now, we are at the home of the CIAC Executive Director, Glenn Longarini, who has spent all day finalizing with his experts on how to get this thing done to play sports this fall, high school sports. Now, the good news is there's a plan. The bad news is we don't have all the details yet because the schools want to see what's in it before it's released. So, Glenn, let's talk about some of the things we can talk about. You have a plan to play this fall. Yes, Joe. After extensive work in collaboration with a number of stakeholders uh, in Connecticut, including medical professionals, uh, superintendents, athletic directors, principals, uh, we have uh, determined that we will have uh, a fall sports season this upcoming year. The details of that plan will be released to the media tomorrow at noon. Uh, we want to give our superintendents an opportunity to review the plan uh, before it's released to the public, uh, but appreciate the work of all the committee members. Now, I know some things you've talked about, perhaps a reduced schedule. Kids have to get in shape. They're not as in shape as they were at this time last year. One of the things we've really uh, come to understand through the activities we're doing now, we currently have schools conditioning right now, and we've seen that the conditioning level of kids is far below that that it normally is at this time of, of the season for kids. Also, a number of schools have not been able to begin those conditioning programs. So ensuring that we provide adequate conditioning was a recommendation uh, by the medical professionals and our athletic trainers. Uh, and we agree that in order to be safe for kids, we have to account for conditioning. So not extending the season, but possibly if, if it gets approved, we'll have shorter seasons for the sports. The plan details itself yep. will give you specific timelines yep. uh, of those. You know, another key element that we were consistent in talking about uh, is that we, we want to respect the work that our schools are doing to try to cohort uh, and also to get our kids back on campus, whether it's hybrid learning or in-person learning, whichever model they choose uh, first. Here's the big one, fans at games. One of the most difficult uh, conversations that we had and in detail uh, because the facilities change so much for our schools. Some use public venues, some control the facilities that they play with, and our schools through their reopening plans uh, have established protocols for parents and guests on campus during instructional time. So in the details you will see that we do our best to honor the work already done and uh, respect that there are a great variety uh, of athletic facilities that are used across the state. So. The details will be released what time tomorrow? We'll release it to the media at noon tomorrow, and uh, we are releasing it to our superintendents tonight uh, to have an opportunity through this evening and tomorrow morning uh, to digest what's there. I'm sure they will get a number of questions, as we will. We have a lot more questions for you. You're going to stay with us, and we'll be back at 6 with more on this, right? Absolutely. Thank you, Joe. All right, so we'll be back at 6 o'clock with the executive director. More on the plan to play fall sports this year. Guys, back to you.